Getting back to where we were, we had a, a quadratic fit and a linear fit. We can turn those fits off just by choosing, de-choosing them, <laughs> de-choosing. And if I bring in collision, the statistics are performed on both, but my fit is only going to apply to what's chosen in the legend. So collide was chosen, so the, the linear fit is only going to apply to that. If I also wanted one on run 4, I would have to choose it in the legend first and then highlight the data of interest in order to get a fit. And I'm going to turn off those fits and to do that I'm going to have to go to each one in the legend. And I'm going to turn off run 4 and then I'm going to hit scale to fit to see all the data again. Again if you want to delete a data run you can choose it over in the summary window and hit delete on the keyboard and confirm. If you want to rename a data run just double click on it and you'll see lots of options including the name. I'm going to call this test data. And When I hit return it's going to ask me to confirm if I want all the data sets and by all the data sets it means I have position and velocity and some other things. See the run for, run for and if I say yes now they'll all become test data. When you save your file I want you to be careful to save it to the desktop and I want you to give this a good name. Uh, it's best to give it your last names and then 1dmotion.ds. That will allow you to find the file later on. .ds is important on the file name. When you're going to print, it's best to go into File, Page Setup, and then orient the paper on its side. After you've done that, you can choose Print, and you can preview the file and it will actually open up a, a, a window, a PDF, showing you what this is going to look like. Okay, and It only printed one page because that was the graph. Uh, I'm done with this graph, so I'm just going to close it, and I don't really need it. I was just seeing it for testing purposes. If I go down here to page 2, here's my next graph window, and I'm going to collect some data trying to match this line.